Going, we're taking a video of Blue Mountain 2021. The Niagara Escarpment in southwestern Ontario extends northwards towards the Georgian Bay. This is home to Cray and Simcoe counties to the pretty tourist towns of the Blue Mountains, Collingwood and Wasaga Beach. Blue Mountains is at a distance of about 160 kilometers northwards from Toronto. If you are present enough, you will find beauty in the journey and not just the destination. Winding roads run through farmlands dotted with colorful barns and magnificent windmills. Just about perfect for those en route stops to soak in the freshness and bask in the sun. The escarpment transforms with every step forward. I could not refrain myself from flying the drone. These aerial shots have been just amazing, opened up a whole new dimension to my experience. Despite the high wind warnings, my Mini 2 kept flying with incredible stability, justifying its price tag with every turn it took and every move it made. As we continued our journey towards the Blue Mountains, the magnificent blue waters of the Georgian Bay welcomed us. Lush green rolling hills along with the blue water of the Georgian Bay on a clear sunny day is like a marriage made in heaven. For those who are visiting for the first time, the slopes and village of the Blue Mountains have a host of recreational activities for all seasons, for all ages. The Blue Mountain Village teems with life, with boutiques, coffee shops and live music. Due to COVID-19, all the establishments were running at a limited capacity. Parking can be done both at the ground level or at the hilltop near the gondola. Remember that parking is free, but the hilltop parking does not give you free access to the village or the trails. The tickets got pretty hefty, expensive. $32 an adult and uh, 22 for child, youth but I think that is how the post-pandemic situation is for, I mean we are still within the pandemic anyways Tickets can be purchased right next to the top parking lot The Explore All Day Pass allows visitors to access the gondola unlimited, all the trails unlimited meaning you can take the gondola ride multiple times that day. This will run you 32 Canadian per adult, 22 Canadian for a child, 5 years and above. The other option is the play all day, which additionally provides you with the rides. But it's of course more money. We did multiple rounds. The views of the village and the bay during the descent were superb. The folks operating the gondola were very, very friendly. They used to ship, bring big ships with wheat all the way to that mill. Mm -hmm. They'd grind it up, okay. and then they'd ship it on trucks all throughout uh, southern, northern Ontario. They will scan the barcode that is provided on the wristband when you get the pass during your stay. 
there are plenty of fast food joints and fine dining options at the village. We got fries and poutine at a shop called Mess With Your Fries. Is that poutine? Yeah. So chipotle chicken large. And had it at a designated dining area at the events plaza. The folks here were keeping tab on COVID tracing. Um, we're just making sure that if there's no perk, we can contact people. Right, right. I'm waiting for my ice cream. I'm waiting for my ice cream. Ayush enjoyed his ice cream at the village. The views from the trails are fascinating. You are in for a visual treat with the blue water embracing the sky along the entire horizon. Try the trail next to the upper parking lot. This access has been made restricted, which was free until 2020. And that's a bummer. The golden dusk flooded the windmills and the farmlands, inundating us with the memories from that eventful day. What a wonderful time we had.